Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about von Hippel Lindau disease. What is von Hippel Lindau disease? This is a rare autosomal dominant inherited disorder characterized by hemangioblastoma of the retina. And we know that retina is the inner layer of the eye. There is the nervous layer of the eye. And also it involves the central nervous system, specifically the cerebellum, maybe the spinal cord and other part of the central nervous system. There will be renal cyst, pancreatic cyst and islet cell tumor. And there is risk of developing renal cell carcinoma and also pheochromocytoma and we may have any other lesions like that lesion in the internal ear, lesion in the epididymis, lesion in the broad ligament of the uterus. So if you look at the image we have central nervous system including the brain stem cerebellum and spinal cord may be involved, retina there will be hemangioblastoma of the retina that is the inner nervous layer of the eye then endolymphatic sac that is a part of the inner ear if that is damaged then there will be the eight cranial nerve lesion there will be loss of balance maybe loss of hearing even it may involve the facial nerve that is in close proximity to this structure there will be involvement of the adrenal gland. There may be possibility of pheochromocytoma. And there may be tumor of the islet cells of the Langerhans. So there is a possibility here in the kidney. There is possibility to develop renal cell carcinoma in the adrenal medulla. There may be possibility of pheochromocytoma. In the epididymis, there may be cystic adenoma. Also, this is a disease that may involve multiple structure together okay so what is the incidence of the disease this disease frequency is one in 30,000 to 40,000 affected gene the tumor suppressor gene BHL encodes a protein that is a part of ubiquitin ligase complex that degrades the transcription factor hypoxia inducible factor. Von hippel lindau disease generally have lost all BHL protein function. The tumor express high level of hypoxia inducible factor which drives the expression of vascular endothelial growth factor and various other growth factor and sometimes it also releases the Erythropoietin. Okay, so this high level of HIF that may also stimulate the the erythropoietin, and that erythropoietin may lead to polycythemia, specifically the RBC count will be very high, hemoglobin will be very high, and other cell of the blood may also be increased. So it may cause polycythemia, may produce paraneoplastic form of polycythemia. Okay. Hemangioblastoma of the von Hippel Lindau disease, if you go there, a highly vascular cystic neoplasm that is found most commonly in the cerebellum. This is the cerebellum, but can be present in the retina of the eye. Okay and also present, it may present in the spinal cord here and the stromal connective tissue cells in between the cyst, the hemangioblastoma cyst expresses inhibiting a member of the PGF beta that is the tumor growth factor beta which act as a tumor marker. Okay. So what are the possible sign symptoms? Sign symptoms according to the pathology. If you go there, okay, we'll get it. The diminished eyesight because of hemangioblastoma involving the retina. And not only that, we may have, may have 
loss of the site there may be visual loss and there will be detachment of the retina that is also possible like this image from an unknown author in the wikipedia okay we got that then poor visual equity sensory attacks here difficulties in heel to shin finger to nose test this is the test done to assess the cerebellar function tender post vertebral angle if the kidney is involved there may be cyst there may be some tumor in the kidney so that may lead to cost vertebral angle tenderness hypertension that may be associated with pheochromocytoma if the pheochromocytoma is present so all signs symptoms may not be present in the same individual depending on the pathology blood in urine is possible if there is any type of hematuria due to breakage of the cyst in the kidney mean age of onset is 26 years but it may start at the age of 10 or 12 in the early adult adulthood during the childhood may it may go to the age of 70 so manifestation may be at any age but mostly around the age of 26 okay so what is the workup of this patient workup will go to the patient workup okay so there will be we must look for the the complete blood count we'll get high rbc hemoglobin level maybe other cell may be also increased in case of polycythemia that may present with this type of tumor complex in 10 percent of cases electrolyte and renal function test because kidney may be the site of pathology urine routine examination is also important we may get some rbc in case of hematuria urine for metanephrine epinephrine norepinephrine and venenine mendelic acid if there is associated pheochromocytoma genetic analysis we look for the chromosome 3 short arm for proteins okay that is associated with bpl we must include for the p53 and fkb protein and we must do the abdominal imaging brain imaging to find out the site of pathology okay okay we got that now treatment and follow-up what is the treatment treatment according to the pathology laser ablation of the hemangioblastoma of the retina we have radiation based surgery or open surgery to the cerebellum that is a management when there is cerebellar hemangioma Surgery may be required on the kidney or pancreas depending on the site of the tumor. Genetic screening for the entire family is very important because it is an autosomal dominant disorder. Other siblings may have this problem. Okay. So these are my references. And that's all about the bone hippolindo disease. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends and please support my channel. Please subscribe me and have a nice day. Bye now.